What's up guys welcome back to yet another gaming test video. This time we'll be doing gaming test on our OnePlus 9 which is running the latest build of Oxygen OS which is Oxygen OS 12. Recently OnePlus rolled out a new update of Oxygen OS 12 stable build that's just a hotfix over the previous update. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So we'll be playing Battlegrounds Mobile India. Let me show you the graphic settings first we'll be using which is smooth and ultra because if you even enable 90 fps we don't have the support of 90 fps on a oneplus 9 series running oxygen os here you can see let's change the lobby settings to smooth and 90 fps but still device is providing us 60 fps so we don't have any other option we have to play game in 60 fps only it doesn't matter if you enable 90 fps device doesn't support that by the way my combination is four finger plus gyro so at the end of video i'll also let you know guys about the gyro performance Though I have been doing gaming on my OnePlus 9 because this is my primary gaming phone and till now I haven't faced any kind of issues related to gyro. Currently CPU usage is 11% and GPU is 47%. Talking about the battery percentage, right now battery percentage is 66% and CPU temperature is 28 degree Celsius. Also first let's talk about the ambient temperature. So currently ambient temperature is 21 degree Celsius and if you take a look at the device temperature towards the Bottom side it's 29 degree Celsius and towards the top side it's almost 31 degree Celsius. Initially we'll play a TDM and after that we'll play full matches and we'll let you know guys about the performance of the device. I've tried multiple ways to enable 90 FPS but none of them worked out. So if you are using OnePlus phones right now which have a support of 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate still you guys won't be able to play games like Battlegrounds Mobile India in 90 FPS. So let's start with one TDM first. And guys, in BGMI, we have a bargain TDM. Most of the times, we don't get to hear the sound of guns and footsteps. No mercy! Cover me! So with no doubt device is maintaining 60 fps way better compared to oxygen os 11. And I don't even see any And I don't even see any lag still now. The gameplay is pretty much smooth. No frame drops, device is continuously maintaining 60 fps. We'll let you know about the heating issue. No mercy! Cover me! Target down! Reloading! Expired! Cover me! The time left! Killing spree for the blue team! No mercy! Reloading! Blue team victory! Okay, so here in TDM, we did not see any kind of frame drops. Device was constantly maintaining between 55 to 60 FPS. And till now, no issues to be seen with heating also. Device is slightly warmed up, but not that much. And we won't get much idea about heating issues, guys, because here in Delhi, it's too cold right now. Let's take a look at the temperature after doing gaming for around 6 minutes. So towards the top side, device temperature have reached up to 34 degrees Celsius. And towards the bottom side, it's still maintaining around 31 degrees Celsius. So as said, we won't see much of heating issues due to the ambient temperature here in Delhi. And now let's play one Irangal also, in which we'll get a fair idea. We'll try to land at hot drop and we'll see whether any frame drops to be seen or not. I'll be playing duo instead of squad because we don't have members right now. I mean to say our team members will play mirror world. Let me select duo and we'll start the game. With TDM, device was performing pretty much good enough and that too with normal mode. We haven't even enabled the high performance mode yet. We'll only enable high performance mode if we see any frame drops. Till now in the lobby also device is maintaining between 55 to 60 fps. Battery is only 4% down. Battery is only 4% down in 7 minutes. Generally when you do gaming on Android phones, you'll see slight frame drops while landing at hot drop. And that's kind of normal.
And here you can see so many teams have landed, but still we do not see any kind of frame drops. Device is continuously maintaining 60 FPS. And now if I continue to play this game, it's gonna take a lot of time. So now I'll exit. We'll again land on the island to see whether any frame drops happens or not. And now we'll play squad and we'll land at the same hot drop. <laughs> Inside the aircraft, 60 FPS is constantly maintained. And as you can see, while landing, FPS is being dropped. Minimum FPS what we got to see was around 48. But as said earlier, that's normal on Android phones. Okay, so here with so many teams also, you can see devices constantly maintaining between 55 to 60 FPS. So we were not able to survive that. We'll try to play this full game now. And gyro performance also doesn't have any kind of issues. location. Attack the mark. Yes. Enemies Marked ahead. Location. Watch out. Watch out! Watch out! <clears throat> Enemies ahead! Okay, here we did almost around 15 minutes of gaming and there were no issues to be seen on this particular map. Without even high performance mode, the performance is top notch on Oxygen OS 12 while gaming. And now let me show you the battery percentage of the device and also the temperature of the device. So CPU temperature have gone up to 37 degrees Celsius. Battery percentage is now 47%. We initially started with 66%. So almost around 20% of battery drain to be seen. So not bad. There's no heavy battery drain to be seen. And talking about the device temperature. So towards the top side, device temperature have reached up to 38 degrees Celsius. And bottom side, it's around 33 degrees Celsius. So as said again, not much of heating issues also to be seen. Okay, now let's play one Miramar and we'll see how does the device perform while playing Miramar. <clears throat> and while landing in Miramar, let's see the frame drops. So here you can see minimum frames FPS which went was 52 otherwise yes device is maintaining around 60 FPS
Attack the mark. Attack the mark. Mark the location. Mark the location. Excellent work. Excellent work. Here we cleared the Picardo in Miramar which was a hot drop and we don't find any kind of lagging issues or hot drops. So guys, we played total three matches in which two were Irangal, which is that mirror Irangal, and the third one is this Miramar. Until now, did not notice any kind of heating issues. Heating issues might not be there because of the ambient temperature. Jaro performance was also pretty good. And now let's see the battery drain. So currently, battery percentage is 37%. We started with 66%, so almost 29% of battery drain to be seen in one hour. So there is not much of battery drain playing games in 60 FPS. Yes, if we enable 90 FPS, we'll see more battery drain. And the CPU temperature have reached up to 37 degree, wherein we started with 29 degree. So again, not much of heating issues with the CPU part. And at last, let's take a look at the device temperature. So top side, it's 36 degree Celsius and towards the bottom side, it's 33 degree Celsius. Okay, so if you guys are thinking about updating your device to Oxygen OS 12, keeping gaming in mind, then guys trust me, here I am doing the recording for the first time, but I have been doing gaming on my OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 12, till now I did not see any kind of issues with the frame drops, overheating, we played these 3 games with normal mode, we did not even turn on the high performance mode and with that there were no issues to be seen while gaming. So with no doubt you guys can update your device to Oxygen OS 12 if you were worried about the performance part on Oxygen OS 12. For me, I personally did not face any kind of issue. The only issue what we have is that we cannot run the game in 90 FPS. Though I am trying my best to enable 90 FPS, the day I get that thing working, you guys gonna see a video on that. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like this gaming test. If so, do press the like button and also make sure to subscribe our channel. This is your friend Ashok signing out, see you guys in the next video.